version here. Ooh, what a pity. I like that beginning. I want to give it more of a slight life to that. There's some hiccupy bits here. There. I don't know if that's my playback. So that's cool. I like that. Just like a little lean and then going there. It's less poppy. And I know it's kind of deviating from the reference, but I think that's okay to me. What you can also do is for as you're getting to, you know, it's so close to done, like, as you lean forward, it would be really great to just kind of push the pressure on this a bit more. I see some spreading of the toes, but it might be interesting, especially during here. If you look at that line of the shin moving, the rest feels a bit lifeless. So I know I can't remember what you wanted to do if you're going to act grass or anything else, but you can see kind of that shadowy gap. I don't know if you want to flatten that, flatten the toes, but it just gives a bit more life. And there's so much movement there. And then also, watch out how the shins go. They suddenly start moving, go down, and then stop in that on that angle there. If you watch just the shin, just a little bit of smoothing out, and that could just be moving the root more to the left if it's a bit longer. And then, because you can always go a bit over to the left slow it down a little bit and then a bit more to the left because we're uh, moving over to over one leg basically and then over to there is that a muscle you have muscle shapes in there it's like there's such an elongation of that muscle there and the same thing here so as we transition now over to this foot here all the the weight is on there some more detail in there now if you're saying in your mind as you're listening to this, no, no, I'm going to add grass, you'll never see this, then they ignore what I'm saying. But that is stuff that we can start putting in there, and by we, I mean you. And watch out, there feels a bit of a pop there. Right there, as this moves over one frame. Even this here, this little move up is over one frame, and then suddenly to the right. So I think, because everything is really in place, it works really well. So just little moments here and there where you got to be careful about one frame moves. Even like this where you have that rotating over this way and then suddenly pops over one frame. So every now and then there's some, some hiccupy bits. Here's one I feel in the body. Something's going on here. I would also on that drop here just have a bit more either rotation up and over any type of influence where you don't want to feel like this is a separate eye ahead there's a lot of changes here that I would just kind of push in the head a little bit a little slight influence on the head because of it I think it's this sudden up move that I'm oh uh, here it is yeah you go up like that watch the brow up so make sure it's not too steppy there. This stop is a bit harsh. So this, if you track this line, boop, this goes over and then stop. And you can cheat this by having a little bit of, when he does this, rotate the head down a bit. And then during that transition, you can rotate up and then back down. So it's not, this feels fairly in the same rotational position throughout. Then it starts to go down here. That will impact. Boom. It's good there. That definitely helps. And then watch out. Just that move here. It feels a bit even in timing. Almost a bit too straight. Feels a bit like an IK arm. And it feels mainly in the arm. I would push the shoulder a bit forward and up. Just a bit, just to heighten that moment a bit more. Heighten as in, just kind of that connectivity where like one thing is moving, it affects the rest. Just a bit more so it doesn't feel, because it's already feeling slightly IK. I don't want to get away from the IK field in that whole arm. And then you could probably, let me see. Watch out, there's a bit of a pop there. Boop, toe up and down. And you could potentially, I don't know how it's going to impact this area, but rotate that foot just a bit lower. So it's a little bit of a bigger contrast. Again, pushing 
maybe off the reference a bit. Because this is already so parallel to this. You might have maybe a little up and then maybe a curled curled toe. So it just gives us a bit of a different asymmetrical feel to this. And that's that. It's very close. It's really getting into really that the super polishy cleanup parts. And that's that. Remind me of me in the email what your plan was. I know what else you're gonna add. Maybe something, some other areas to, for the uh the set. Alrighty, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.